Do you want to create any production ready full stack application without you coding it or even without requirement of knowing how to code? Well, just use GPT Pilot. With GPT Pilot, you just provide the description of the application you want to create and you just sit down, relax, go back and enjoy the process of creating the application for you and running it for you. The only thing you need to do is just providing your feedback at the middle of the process. Again, without any coding, end-to-end -end automated and execution of your app gonna be on fly with GPT Pilot. Then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, welcome to GPT Pilot. So first of all, what is GPT Pilot or what is the proposed value of GPT Pilot? Quite honest, GPT Pilot is one of the most amazing AI tool that I have ever seen in my life. That means with GPT Pilot, you can create any sophisticated full stack application without you getting involved in coding. You just write down what you want and it will create the app for you. You might say, well, I have seen some other AI coding assistant. I actually created another video about GPT engineer that you write down the prompt, it will write down the code for you. So what's the difference with GPT Pilot among others? Well, first of all, GPT Pilot is really another level you can create again full stack sophisticated application that might take even hours to get created by gpt pilot by itself without you coding just sit down you see you provide feedback and after a couple of minutes or even hours the app is ready for you and the second thing is that you will get involved as a developer within gpt pilot flow I'm gonna tell you how but again you don't need to code just see you provide feedback and it iteratively fix itself write the code execute the code fix itself until the app is ready for you so technically you will see gpt pilot is created out of multiple agents they can be let's say op open ai based like gpt4 based agent that you write down what you want to get created you talk about your app it will ask for some clarification if it's needed and it will decide to then break down what gonna be the steps the coding need to get created the environment need to get created and after when the tasks are all done it will write down the code for you and even you will see it can execute the code for you to make sure the app is working right and each step as you can see is designed by multiple agents we have tech lead agent architect agent that discuss about the breakdown of the steps but let's be a little bit more specific. Here's the coding workflow. Before we see it in action, I wanna make sure you understand the architecture and how GPT Pilot works. So first, as soon as you write down what kind of app you want to get created, it will start to break your development to multiple steps. Step zero, one, two, three. And for each step, this is what's gonna happen. So let's say for step number one, zero, it will start to implement the code then it will identify okay what gonna be the folders and files needed just for this step and then it will start to iteratively develop the code ask human for some feedback which is me here i will check out each step if there's something or if there's an error it will show me and let me decide how to continue so i will just talk that's it i don't code again and after that when that step is done step zero it will start testing that how it asks me to check something if it's needed. It will run also the command to execute that step, make sure that a step is working. Also, it will write down some automated tests. If I'm succeeded, perfect, I will go to a step one, a step two, a step three. If not, it's gonna get failed, so it go to the debugging mode. So the debugging process, it will send the error message to an LLM application. LLM gonna see, okay, I know what's the error. This is the solution. So the code gonna get generated and executed again and again to revise those steps all the way to the top. So enough talking and boring architecture. Let's get in to the actual GPT pilot and how we can install that. So here is actually the repository of GPT pilot. I will add this reference to the Discord channel on the reference section and the discord channel link is below in video description so click on it you will go to the channel and on the references you will see the reference of all the videos also this video that you're watching there are two ways that you can install gpt pilot 
uh they do have vs code extension i would recommend that to go for it very easy but if you don't you can just simply come all the way down i think i passed that there you go here these are the steps you need to follow i already did but i'm going to show you how so you just open your command prompt if you're using windows as i do the first thing that you need to do is just copying this you, it's gonna clone the gpt pilot repository for you and after that you go to the gpt pilot folder after you clone this and then with number three you're gonna create a virtual environment to install some packages needed for gpt pilot that's why you activate that environment you pip install recommend packages that comes under this repository then you go under pilot folder that's gonna get created and then you need to add some specific credentials to this .env or environment file. So what's going to be the credentials? Something like your OpenAI key. Because GPT Pilot is using GPT-4 or any OpenAI model, you have to make sure that you have that credentials there and you know how to get your OpenAI key or Azure OpenAI key. And after that, lastly, if you follow these steps, you need to just say python main.py. This will start GPT Pilot. But if you don't want to do any of that, you can just simply go to VS Code and get the extension. How? Here is my VS Code, actually. Before I show you how you get to the GPT Pilot, you go to uh, GPT Pilot, sorry, to Extensions. Then you search here GPT Pilot. There you go. It's here. I have already installed that, so... I don't need to do it again. After you install, you will see this icon GPT Pilot will be appear on the left side. You click on it, it will ask you to open GPT Pilot, and then I can start creating a new app. So you should go to the setting, add your OpenAI key stuff there. I already added, I don't need to do it again. So just simply say, create a new app. So, so the first thing it is asking me is that, okay, give me a project description. So, sorry, the project name. Let's say here I want to create an application that acts like a calculator, okay? So you press the number in the UI, and then let's say I want to divide something, add something, blah, blah, blah. So it will create a calculator for me without me coding that. This is a very, very, very simple app. I'm saying that you can create full stack application with it. So go ahead, create whatever you want. But here, just for sake of time, I say, this is my project name. Calcu, oh, let me type it here. Calculator, I actually created one before to save the time and show you the results, but that's why I'm getting a new name here. And then after that, describe your app. Okay, this is the place you have to describe what you exactly want to create. So I say that create a calculator. Enter, okay, to run. Let's say on Windows, um, we, okay, sorry for typo, Windows, that can do the main for math function. I mean, just multiplying uh, some stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm done. You can certainly add much more details, but interestingly, it's going to ask you for follow-up question if needed. And you can see that will the calculator interface be graphical or command line based? I would say graphical. So it is asking you some for some more clarification stuff. And then let's see what's next. Should the calculator have memory function? I would say not for now. Make it simple. Should calculation with decimal numbers be supported? Mm, let's say no. Okay, next. Does the calculator need support complex? Mm, again, let's make it simple, not for now. But as it is amazing that it understand the concept and asking me follow up and very up to point question. Uh, to handle errors, I would say again, no again, I'm just making it very, very simple. Okay. Now everything is clear. So project summary, it is one of those agents that is defining the tasks that need to get developed. So let's see what's going on here. So it's planning the project architecture. This is our architecture agent that's planning what technologies might be used or is needed. Okay. So please set up your local environment. Uh, right done. 
okay so I'm this is calculator very simple I don't need to install any specific thing and stuff for now so I'm saying that I'm done so it says starting to create the action plan for development okay so here's the plan setting basic application with Node.js stuff okay so it's moving forward and you know what I'm gonna do for sake of time I already execute this before and interestingly the calculator was created at the beginning it was giving me some errors and it fixed the errors by itself and recreated some codes so because some of the application gonna take hours to get created it gonna actually save the progress so it will uh, resume from the place that code failed or there was a bug okay so let me show you my other uh, command line that I have that I created this calculator you can see that my project name was calculator I added the same thing I added yes for example decimal but no to other questions and then the project summary planning pro this is the same thing that just already saw and then it actually used uh, Python UI applications very basic UI to create the app uh, calculator for me but as you can see when it was creating at the beginning it just created an empty calculator nothing there and then it understood that okay I have to add some functionality to to the um, to the calculator and as you saw when each step was done it was running that and it got some errors and it realized by itself that okay I have to debug it and then for debugging I didn't do anything it just understood the reason by itself by LLM and it fixed the code executed again so this time was for example successful and then it happened iteratively multiple times it was getting the error fixing by itself asking me for feedback and what I was doing I was just typing down that's it and finally at the end what happened I saw that inside the path that I had GPT pilot there is something called workspaces and under that I have my a folder created called calculator this is the one that we just created together now and it's getting created we can actually check the progress so it's doing some stuff but regardless the one that I created before recording the video I saw that all these .py codes got created first it was just this uh, GUI.py then it was displayed and it was some buttons and none of them were existing so it was giving me errors it fixed them all by itself and iteratively created these files and saving each step without me losing anything and even some tests for example for here I didn't actually add that that's why it's empty so in order to run this to make sure it is working what I did actually GPT pilot told me how to run the project so if I go all the way down after finishing all these iterative questions and answers let me go down I just simply went to the path that I showed you under calculator uh, folder and as you saw there's something called main.py this is the one that called the other uh, code so I just say Python main.py and there you go that's my calculator this is a very simple and funny calculator let's say 2 multiply by 2 equal to 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 um, plus 6 equal to 8 so seems to be working again what I did I just simply describe what I want to create and as you can see on the fly it is asking me questions to give me feedback for example or it's gonna execute a command line to make sure the project is working at each step I can say yes enter no so iteratively I was there as a developer to just guide this assistant but I was not doing any coding at all and all the folders files structure even for any sophisticated app can be created by GPT pilot so kudos to the people who has created this open source amazing uh, AI tool and I will add the GPT pilot repo again to the discord channel under video description check that out and go crazy with it by the way make sure you monitor the cost of the calls that you make to LLM let's say OpenAI because this iterative process is calling the model but I would say it's absolutely worth to give it a try and you no longer need to know all the details for creating an app here's an assistant for you you can learn enjoy and execute your apps that's all the measure of someone's intelligence is not his achievements it's his ability to change dream big my friends believe in yourself and take action till next video take good care bye for now